Hello students, this is another experimental activity for you class 11. Here I am going to discuss about the study of the characteristics of specimens through slides and models and their identification with reasons. In today's video, I am going to discuss about amoeba and hydra through slides and ascaris through a model as well as rohu that is a bony fish through a model. So let's start the activity. The first organism here I am going to discuss is about an unicellular organism from the kingdom protista that is amoeba which is commonly known as amoeba. The scientific name is amoeba proteus. The hierarchical classification of this organism is kingdom protista, phylum protozoa, class Sarcodina, order Amoebida, genus Amoeba, species Proteus. What are the identifying characteristics of this organism? This organism is unicellular with irregular body shape. There is presence of finger like projections known as pseudopodia. There is a contractile vacuole that help in the ejection of the food materials that is digested. Uh, general characteristics of this organism. Amoeba are found in the pond, lakes, streams, ditches and in other places which have plenty of decaying organic matter. So here you can understand it is found in the freshwater bodies. The protoplasm is differentiated into ectoplasm that is the outer membrane and the endoplasm that is the inner part. The endoplasm contains food vacuole and a round prominent nucleus in the center. The body of the animal is covered by a soft and selectively permeable membrane called plasma membrane. It can constantly change its shape by putting forth and withdrawing small finger like outgrowth called pseudopodia which are the locomotory structure and helps in capturing food as well. Amoeba shows holozoic mode of nutrition as it feeds on aquatic organisms like bacteria, diatoms, algae etc. And it reproduces asexually by binary fission as well as by multiple fission. The next organism here in this activity is Hydra. The hierarchical classification of these organisms is Kingdom Animalia, Phylum Nidaria, Class Hydrozoa, Order Hydroida, Genus Hydra, Species Vulgaris. What are the identifying features of this animal? Hydra has a soft, narrow, elastic, cylindrical body which is hollow in shape and is opened at one end and closed at another. Tentacles are present at its base which help in the locomotion and for capturing food. Our general characteristics of this organism are it is found in freshwater lakes, ponds, streams, etc and remain either attached to the substratum or vegetation and other times it can be found moving in different ways like somersaulting, gliding, looping and floating. The body which is called polyp of hydra is open at one end that is the distal end and closed at the other end that is the proximal end. Bud like structures are branch, branch out from the polyp which separates into young hydra by vegetative propagation. The distal end is free and has a small conical projection called oral cone or hypostome which has an opening called mouth. The tentacles bear large number of stinging cells or nematoblast. These are also called nidocytes for offense and defense. In the other way that's why it is called nidaria because of the nidoblast cell. The proximal end is flat and attached to the substratum known as basal disc or foot. The body wall is diploblastic that is they are made up of two layers of cell, outer epidermis that is the ectoderm and the inner 
gastrodermis that is endoderm which is lining by central cavity between the epidermis and gastrodermis there is a jelly like non cellular layer called mesoglea hydra reproduce asexually by budding gonads like testis and ovary are seen in the middle as small bulge bulges of the body hydra is carnivorous and has the power of regeneration the next invertebrate here in this video is ascaris what is the hierarchical classification of this organism it belong to the kingdom animalia phylum nematelminthes or ascihelminthes class nematoda order ascariodea genus ascaris and species lumbricoides what are the identifying characteristics of this organism the body is cylindrical that is tapering at both ends there is presence of triradiate mouth presence of pineal setae in males and genital aperture in females general characteristics of this organism ascaris lumbricoides is a common intestinal parasite of man particularly found in small children and pig cattle monkey etc the infection occurs through contaminated food and water this organism is commonly called round worm it has 20 to 40 cm long body which is cylindrical about 5 to 6 mm in diameter and it has no segments in its body surface a dorsal a ventral and two lateral lines extend all along the entire length of the body of the organism the anterior or the front end of the body has a terminal triradiate mouth surrounded by three lips present mid dorsally and the rest two lips are situated ventrolaterally a uh, little behind anterior end there is a small excretory pore which lies in mid ventral position the animal shows sexual dimorphism that is separate male and female individuals are found now how to how to identify this male and the female organisms let me discuss males are smaller in size than the female and in females the genital pore and the anus open separately you can see the tail part which is curved in the males but in the female the tail is not curved okay now the posterior end of the male it has a needle like pineal or copulatory setae while the female genital aperture is present mid ventrally at about 1/3 distance from the anterior end ascaris is both amenotelic as well as ureotery the last organism for today's video is labio rohita which is commonly called rohu in bengali we usually call it rui you know rui is a very common household fish which is eaten by bengalis now let us discuss about the classification or hierarchical classification of this organism the kingdom is animalia phylum chordata sub phylum vertebrata super class pisces class osteotix that is the bony endoskeleton is present and order is cypriniforms the genus is labio species is rohita identifying features of labio rohita it has a streamlined body covered with cycloid scales operculum is present on five pairs of gills presence of thick and fringed lips caudal fin is homosexual that is it is symmetrical general characteristics rohu is a fresh water fish used as food in our country as i already mentioned the body is laterally compressed and streamlined the region extending between the depressed and obtuse snout and the posterior end of the operculum forms the head part of the rohu the part of nostril a pair of nostril and median eyes are present on the head and eyes are without eyelids fins are present for locomotion three median unpaired fins are there 
dorsal, anal and caudal and two paired fins that are pectoral and pelvic are present. Sexes are separate and males are without claspers which are present in some other type of fishes. The females are viviparous that is they lay eggs. So dear students this was all about today's activity. In the next video I will discuss about another four organisms. They are liver fluke that is fascicola hepatica. Next is rana tigrina the frog and pila globosa that is the apple snail and one more organism that is starfish so for knowing more about the upcoming video for your practical activity do subscribe my channel immediately today if you have not done it yet if you have found this video important and informative for your practical activity do share with your friends and don't forget to put a like thanks for watching